of the Beaverton School District employee who died yesterday while on the job. Jerry Syverson was a four-year employee with the maintenance department. His death is the third workplace death in the metro area this week. All three men died falling from equipment. Now OSHA is looking into this latest case. Elise Haas explains how safety regulations play a role while operating these machines. OSHA is investigating the equipment and safety measures taken at Westview High School after a Beaverton School District employee died Wednesday. Authorities tell us he was painting the high school when the scissor lift he was in tipped over, dropping him more than 20 feet. This is the second workplace accident this week. Last Thursday, two arborists were breaking down equipment at the Pickathon Music Festival in Happy Valley. They were killed when the cherry picker they were tethered to tipped over. Deputies say they were on a slight incline when it fell. Industry experts are saddened to hear about what they know are preventable deaths. This equipment can be very safe if it's used properly, but if it's used incorrectly, it can be deadly. James Camioni has worked in the equipment rental industry for nearly three decades. He says the equipment must be on a flat surface. Operators must stay within the basket and be wary of windy conditions or they're at risk to tip. There's OSHA regulations and you have to be certified if you're using any of this uh, type of equipment on a job site. He stresses there's multiple companies in the Portland metro area that do safety trainings. Any contractor that's going to use this type of equipment, make sure you get the, your employees safety trained so that they can go home to their families and be safe. The American National Standards Institute, or ANSI, is responsible for issuing safety standards. Industry experts say ANSI hasn't made any major changes in two decades, but ANSI is updating their standards this December, putting more emphasis on the employers to ensure that safety requirements and trainings are in place. In Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.